If you're a big swim team and you like to order a lot of gear, maybe you ought to check out Swim Outlet Team Division for these reasons. Swim teams receive a 10% discount on bulk orders. Swim teams or organizations get an 8% commission on referred sales. You'll also like their customization services, which is affordable and available at all times during the year for all team gear. With over 50,000 items in stock, you can get most anything you want. Swim Outlet Team Division. You need to try it out. You'll be glad you did. This is the Morning Swim Show for Wednesday, November 20th, 2013. I'm your host, Jeff Cummings. The University of California Berkeley men's swim team is having a good season so far, posting some of the fastest times in the collegiate rankings through the first two months. One of those swimmers is joining us today in the Finis Monitor. Jeremy Bagshaw swam a 902.45 in the 1000 freestyle a couple of weeks ago, and that time stands as the fastest in the event. To talk about that and more, let's bring on Jeremy from his coach Dave Durden's office in Berkeley. Jeremy, it's good to see you. How are you today? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm doing well. I understand it's getting a little chilly up there in Berkeley. Those uh, workouts outdoors probably aren't getting too pleasant. Yeah, morning workouts are getting a little bit chilly. Had our first day of rain this morning. Well, just makes, uh, makes it all more worthwhile once the, uh, the warmer weather comes back. Definitely does, especially once we go indoors to race. So uh, 902.45 in the 1,000 free, very impressive. It's a, from what I understand, it's a five-second improvement from what you were doing this time last year. Um, I know the 1,000 isn't swimming championship meets, but I would imagine this makes you excited for the mile. Uh, it definitely does, especially with the training we've been in and kind of focusing on more a little bit of a distance, distance background now. I think I'm really excited to swim the mile come uh, next week or two weeks from now at Nationals. So before you hadn't really been putting a lot of focus on the mile, you've been kind of staying with the 500, is that what you're saying? Yeah, it's been more about a 500 uh, focus for me. And especially now since we're working up, I'm a lot, of, lot more excited for it. Um, which do you like better, the 500 or the 1650? I like racing the 500 a lot better, but I, I enjoy doing the mile as well. Well, most people don't usually say that. And if yeah. they had the choice, they usually want to go with the 500. But I guess that's a good sign for you. So, uh, Coach Yuri Sugiyama, this is his second season working up there at Cal. Uh, obviously, I can tell by the times things are working out. What's the relationship between you and, Su you and Yuri like? It's really fun. We, we, it's nothing too serious. We always try and keep it as light as we can during practice. We joke around a lot, and we kind of just focus on swimming when we need to focus. And then if we're not going fast, it's just kind of a really relaxed environment. It's really nice. So you don't feel it's not really a kind of uh, thing where the coach is berating you for not hitting the times that he wants you to do? Oh, not at all. It's never, it's always a lot of fun and just keeping everything really light and, and trying to have as much fun at practice as you can. Give us an idea of a, of a set that Yuri will have you doing that uh, you think has kind of been crucial to helping your thousand this season. Uh, we've been doing a lot of uh, low stroke count swimming. So for me, it would be swimming trying to go at 1,000 pace or mile pace and swimming at 10 to 11 strokes just on repeats, just nice and easy, trying to hold it as, as hold my stroke as well as possible. Is that holding it for 100 or 200? Uh, either 100 or 200. We, we do both. Uh, so what kind of splits would you be holding? Uh, try and hold 53 highs to 54 lows. Try to do it going through that. That is pretty impressive. And, and do you feel like you obviously... I guess maybe the, I know the answer to this, but do you, you feel comfortable doing that, working on the low stroke count? Do you feel like it's, it's easy swimming as I guess it should be? Yeah, especially uh, since we, at first, when I first started it last year, when Yuri first came, it was a lot harder than it is now. Now it just feels a lot more relaxed and easier to do. It's come more of a second nature swimming for me. Okay. Um, and you got some, some great swimmers working with you in that distance program, Janard and Burns, Adam Henshaw. What's it like having a lot of these guys racing next to you every day? It's great. There's always a competition. There's always someone to race because I like racing a lot in practice and we always have people stepping up at different times to race each other and it's a lot of fun. Well, as someone who likes racing and workout, do other people get discouraged and like, oh boy, we got Jeremy next to us. We know he's not going to give up. Oh no, definitely not. Especially with Adam and Janardin beside me, there's never anything like that because they're always either beating me or keeping up with me. It's, it's great. So looking ahead to NCAAs, I know we still got about four months to go. Uh, you know, you were top 16 the 500 didn't get top 16 the 1650 uh, you know what are your goals looking at for your final ncaa's i'm just looking forward to trying to get top top eight in the in the mile in the 500 this year 
try and improve on everything I've done because I feel a lot better. So I'm excited for this year. What's the team atmosphere been like? Um, you know, I, I would imagine this is kind of, um, you know, a year where everybody's looking to see how you guys will do without Tom Shield, with the addition of people like Ryan Murphy and Janardin, who have done very well in the national scene. Uh, give us an idea of how the what the, the team atmosphere has been like these past few months. It's been really fun. I think we've we've done a lot better job this year of kind of coming together as a group and working together and kind of just getting work moving forward as a as a team. And it's a lot better than it has been in, in the last couple of years, which I'm really excited about moving forward. Why do you think it's been different this season? I think we just all we've we've all gotten along really well. There's been no problems. It's been a lot of fun. We enjoy each other's company at practice and outside of the pool. All right, that's obviously very important to the team atmosphere. And I guess there's that um, united goal of um, getting that team title back at the NCAA's. Yeah, exactly. Especially after last year, we want to bring it back to Berkeley. Yeah. How did how did it feel for you to? Uh, know that it was Michigan and not Cal holding that, that first place trophy in March? It wasn't a good feeling, but it definitely fueled a little bit of fire for us this year, which is good, which we needed. Yeah, absolutely. You don't want to sit back on your heels and get too complacent. No, exactly. <laughs> well, let's talk about your life outside the pool. Uh, this is your senior year, as we said. Um, you got I would imagine exams are coming up pretty soon. Yeah, we got exams uh, second week of December starting, yeah. All right, so you're going, and you're going to USA Swimming Nationals, right? Yes. So pretty much as soon as you get back, you got exams. That's going to be pretty tough. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of studying while we're at Nationals, which is going to be, it's going to be tough, but it'll be worth it. Yeah, well, studying will keep your mind off the, the big races you got that, that weekend. Exactly, yeah. Um, I understand you're, you're majoring in integrative biology, is that correct? Yes. What does, what is the integrative part mean? Uh, because in the integrative biology uh, department, there are many different tracks. Uh, I'm focusing on more of a human human kinetics track, so biomechanics and stuff like that. Okay. Well, I guess as a swimmer, you know all about biomechanics. Do you use any of your swimming knowledge uh, to any of your studies? I definitely find it. It's, it's made studying classes a lot easier because I kind of I know how my body works a lot better than a lot of the other students, which I find really helpful. Yeah, I, I bet you they pro do. You, do you have a lot of uh, other athletes that are in this track as well? Yeah, there are. There's a lot of other, not a lot of swimmers in this track, but there's a lot of other athletes. I think there's a couple of football players and other athletes as well. I would imagine that's what draws them to this major because, like you said, athletes know their bodies, so it, it they help. It helps them understand the the classwork a lot better. Yeah, it's definitely very helpful. Do you feel that a lot of those uh, non-athletes are looking to you, ask you questions for help? You know, what does, how does this function? How does that function? What does this mean? I definitely found in a lot of, yeah, it definitely does have, uh, do have students asking me a little bit of questions about how my body works, how I feel like in the water, especially just difference between running, doing land training and swimming in the water, kind of the differences of how my body reacts to different uh, elements. All right. I want to go back four years to when you, um, committed to go to Cal. Um, you're from Vancouver. Uh, did you actively pursue Dave Durden or did he come to you? Uh, I actually actively, I actually sent a letter to, uh, to Dave and Greg uh, showing my interest in coming to Cal. Okay, so it, yeah. it, it's usually, you know, usually with foreign students, it's the, you know, they're, they're the ones who have to reach out, especially because maybe a lot of the coaches don't know a lot about what's going on. So you, you knew right away that you wanted to go. Yeah, I knew I wanted to go to Cal, and I, that's why I sent my letter out to kind of get their interest and see if they could, if I could come here. And I ask this to a lot of high, uh, college seniors, but do you know what your swimming career is going to be like after NCAA's? Uh, I plan on continuing swimming through 2016. Okay. Well, yeah. uh, being from Canada, the distance swimming program obviously is led by Ryan Cochran, and I guess it's almost like everybody else, but... Um, you know, how do you feel about your chances of making the Canadian Olympic team in 2016? I think it's really good because we've got a lot of guys that can that will push me, especially when I go home to train. I, cause I, I actually train with Ryan, so it's going to be when I go home to train after after my fifth year of school, I'll have a lot of people to push me and try and get better to make that 400 and 200 free spot. Is it kind of is being a distance swimmer in Canada kind of like? Being a 200 flyer in the Michael Phelps area here in the United States, is everybody's like, there's no way we can beat Ryan? Or do you, you know, obviously since you train with them, is there the mindset of, you know, I'm going to beat Ryan, that's what I want to do? 
I mean, there's always you always got to kind of think that way of, of possibly beating people. But working with Ryan, seeing how hard he works and how well he trains, it, it does make it a lot harder, especially having trained with him for so many years. And it's probably a little bit inspiring, too. For sure. Sure, definitely just me. I've done a lot, did a lot of crazy sets that I didn't think I thought were possible. Well, it's probably another reason that makes all the, the distance training you do now a lot easier. That's for sure. <laughs> well, uh, Jeremy, before we let you go, uh, we want to submit you to the final five. These are five questions we ask all of our guests to get to know them a little bit better. Uh, first question, if you could change the order of strokes in the individual medley, how would you change it? I would start with backstroke, go back, fly, breast free. Back, fly, breast free. Okay. Um, what's a, what would your dream career or dream job be? Uh, to go to medicine school and, uh, go be a med, uh, sports, sports doctor. Okay. Um, what's a career or job that you definitely know that you don't want to try? Uh, I don't want to go into the financial world. <laughs> okay. Um, what's a, uh, rule that you would like to change or add in the swimming rule book? I think it'd be cool to get rid of the 15 meter rule because I know that'd help a lot of guys just going getting rid of the 15 meter rule. Okay. Last question: Where do you like to go on vacation? I'd love to go to Singapore for vacation. Okay, I've heard that's a very beautiful place. I, I think that's probably where your mother's from. Is that right? Yes, that's where my mom's from. Okay, so you've probably been there a few times. Yeah. Okay. Well, Jeremy, thanks so much for joining us. Congratulations on um, all the success you and the Berkeley team is having there, and we look forward to seeing you guys in Knoxville. Thanks for having me. All right, my pleasure. Bye. All right, so that's going to wrap it up for today's edition of the Morning Swim Show. I'm Jeff Cummings. Thanks for watching.